Nobody could have known back in 2019 that two things would define the next three years. One of them, of course, is COVID, but the other one is the Great Engraver series from the Royal Mint, which turned into a probably pretty unexpected for the Royal Mint, but an unexpected uh, success story, maybe partly driven on by, uh, by COVID and the move to uh, hard assets during that time, but also by some genuinely uh, brilliant work by the Royal Mint. In a world inhabited by random bunnies, snowmen, and just about every royal anniversary possible, suddenly one of the most famous icons of all time in terms of British coinage, the Una and the Lion, came to life again at the masterful hands of the craftsmen and engravers and technicians at the Royal Mint, followed the, the following year by the Three Graces, uh, two amazing um, recreations of iconic coins uh, originally engraved by William Wyon. And after two sellout uh, editions, this year it's the turn of the totally iconic um, Gothic crown. Originally a proof crown created by William Wyon in 1847 as a proof edition only of around 8,000 coins and widely regarded as one of the most beautiful, if not the most beautiful British coin of all times. One of the big challenges of the Gothic crown is that both sides of the coin are exquisitely beautiful. And so making a coin edition where Her Majesty is on one side of the coin is a little bit of a challenge. And there is only one real answer to that problem. And of course, that answer is to make not just one coin, but a set of two coins, uh, one containing the quartered arms, the very beautiful uh, Gothic uh, arms, and the other containing a replica of uh, Queen Victoria in her Gothic pose. Um, and so that really is the amazing thing that has just happened because the first of those coins has been issued by the Royal Mint and of course was a sellout within just a few minutes. The first coins should be in hand from the Mint later on this week, and as soon as they're available, I will, of course, feature them on the channel. Looking at some of the initial pictures and artwork, what is clear is the Mint have done a wonderful job in recreating the very, very intricate detail of the original coin. And uh, there have been a number of replica releases by East India Company, for example, and by comparing the uh, the pictures, the preview pictures of the Royal Mint release against the East India Company release, it's cl pretty clear the wonderful job the Mint have done and the extra detail that is going to be in the Royal Mint version. You can see here a couple of the areas where you know, a close-up attention to detail shows a lot of extra engraving detail that is in the Royal Mint version, which is on the left compared to the East India Company version, which is on the right. Looking here at some of the original um, detail on the left from a, a, an 1847 coin that's been very well preserved, compared to the brand new 2021 version, you can see just how this coin has been so amazingly recreated down to the tiniest detail. So if you do like this video and you want to hear more about the Gothic Crown, please subscribe and click on that notify bell so that you hear about every new Numistaka video.